Hey, I'm John, one of the course creators and mentors at Soundfly. Let's check out how to create our own Slice to MIDI presets in Ableton Live. By default, the built-in Slice to MIDI presets in Ableton are a great starting place. However, I really wanted a way to slice things so only one slice will play at a time, have easier access to transpose, filters, and other settings, so I made my own preset. Let's check out how. First, create a new MIDI track. Add a drum rack, and then add a simpler onto the C1 pad of that drum rack. Now let's handle the multiple slice issues first. Keep the mode set to classic, turn off loop, and set the voices to one. Now let's grab the settings we want to have easier control of for all our slices. Open the macro mode by clicking this little button and turn on map. From here, we can select a parameter and click map over here to add it to the macro panel. For this preset, I'm gonna grab the filter, volume, attack, release, Then from the controls, transpose and detune. Click map again to exit the mapping mode. Now we need to set these to the appropriate parameters. The filter should start all the way open, volume should be zero, attack should be fast, so zero, release should be wide open, I want the entire slice to play, and finally transpose and detune should also be zero. Now we have one last thing to do. Hit the chains button and the IO button. We need to define a choke group to help keep the samples from playing over one another. Set the choke to any number and close out these windows so you're left with only the macros open. Now let's rename our drum rack. And now let's put it in the presets folder. Go over to the browser, open up the user library, defaults and slicing. Now just drag your drum rack to that folder. And now finally, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna use this sample from Splice. Right click it, choose Slice to MIDI, and then I'll pick a division, maybe quarter notes, and then select my preset. Here's what we've got. Here's a beat made with that slicing preset. Try it out for yourself and add different things to the macros if you want. So that's the basics of creating slice to MIDI presets in Ableton Live. If you want to learn more production tips and tricks, work with me, or check out any of our other mentors, head on over to soundfly.com.